edition of Southern All-Star Wrestling is about to begin. I'm Michael St. John, along with the Hot Rod Biggs. Television title on the line today, T.J. Harley against a man that's been stalking, stalking Sean Schultz. Things have got completely out of control in each and every way possible. Last week was no exception, and I don't think that today's broadcast is going to be any different, Michael. Let's see if Sean Schultz can stand behind what that big mouth has been saying as he gets the shot at the belt. Then the Spellbinder, one of wrestling's most unique characters, and uh, one of the most controversial and scary as well, will take on Kevin White, the new nature boy. And I think uh, Kevin White is a little frightened about this whole situation. A little frightened? Are you kidding me, Michael St. John? This guy scares me, and I don't scare easy, baby. This guy is a nut. He's a lunatic, and he is after Kevin White. Of course the man is scared and the TV Tag Team Championship. Yes, sir. Southern All-Star Wrestling Tag Team titles on the line. The Naturals against the new number one contenders, Chris Michaels and Nore Havoc with their manager, Paul Adams. They are the new number one continues right here in Southern Oklahoma. What are you talking about? Oh new tag team, Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels against the Hey, that title shot belongs to homicidal tendencies. You know it, you know it, everybody out there know it, all these idiots up here know it. That title shot belongs to us. Now you have had your opportunity. I don't want to hear all of that. The only opportunity we've had was to leave those two blonde men and punks land in the middle of the ring. I tell that you what it is. He makes us the number one contender. I tell you what it is, because we're from the NWA. Everybody's jealous of the NWA. Well, I don't know. You shut up, Mitchell. Everybody's jealous of the NWA. Hey, where's the NWA refs at? We, there's no NWA refs. It's all Southern All-Star refs. Everybody, the naturals, everybody's darlings. I tell you what, Freddie Martin, push yourself away from the pizzas and the hot dogs and the Twinkies. Get out here, fat boy. Come on. Freddie. Got some explaining to get over here. Commissioner Freddie Martin, of course, we just announced the new number one contender. Does. Seems to be the problem here, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you are 0 and 2 against the Naturals. You got to start over from the bottom and work yourself up. You haven't been able to beat the Naturals yet. Let me tell you something. That's because you got your bias, SAW officials here. I don't know what it is. Is because we're from the NWA? Is because we beat up the Naturals every time? Is it because of the color of our skin? You being from Columbia, I believe that what the case is. What are you talking about? I tell you why you put your hands on me again, there's gonna be a fine and suspicion to get you. You don't put your hands on me, first of all. You better be, I tell you that. You can call Al Sharpton Look here. Or whoever you want to. I will call everybody. I will knock you out myself. I'm not Eric Andrews, and you got you giving the number one contendership to Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels. They're the number one that can What have they done? Everybody in the pair kick pads and knee pads and spandex done beat Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels. They ain't beat nobody. Hey, so how'd they get our title you shot? the Naturals? No, you haven't. Have you pinned the Naturals? No, you haven't. Have we left the Naturals land? Yes, we have. Have Chris and Norway done it? No, they haven't. So I tell you what, we got to prove ourselves. Prove yourself. Before this hour is over, mark it on your calendar. Before it's over, homicidal tendencies, we will make a statement. And that statement is, the Naturals will be champions for as long as we want them to be. They will win matches for as long as we want them to win matches. If they want to lose or they lose, it's because we played it that way. You can take that to the bank. Boy, homicidal tendencies upset about the fact Chris Michaels and Norway Havoc have been named the number one contenders. Freddie Morton, they are very upset. They're upset, but I don't see why. Like I said, it's a true statement. They have not pinned the Naturals. They're going to have to start at the bottom and work themselves back up. Interesting, Mr. Hot Rod Biggs, if we can get you back in here for a moment. They have said that they're going to prove themselves on this program. Total anarchy is breaking loose here. On the last time we seen these guys in the ring, homicidal tendencies, they didn't walk out with the tag team titles, but the Naturals didn't even walk out, Michael. Boy, I'll tell you, is it getting hot in here or what? I guess we'll have to sort all it's this out. It's always exciting on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Boy, I'll tell you, Commissioner Morton, you're doing your job. If excitement's what you want, you got it right here today on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Let's take a break. Action in the ring after this.
When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Record Service. Bailey's Record Service. Put a headlock on high prices. Come to Rush's Auto Sales, where 50 a week will get you off your feet. Feel the rush at Rush's Auto Sales, located at 101 High Street, Columbia, Tennessee. Phone number 931-381-8585. That's 931 931- 381-8585. Rush is on sale! The best little fun on in town! Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. Looking for that perfect dream home, but don't quite know how to go about it? For free info on buying a home, call Freddie Morton today at 931-334-3110. Put Freddie Morton's experience to work for you. Give Freddie a call today at 931-334-3110 or visit him online at www.freddiemortonsales.com. Jim's Auto Supply, since 1962, your one-stop shop for automotive parts from A to Z. Also offering machine shop service, drum rotation, pressing bearings, AC lines, and power steering hoses, and much, much more. Come see Kenny and the gang at 400 North High Street in Columbia, Tennessee. Our number is 931-388-7515. Heads Up Family Haircutting Center, conveniently located in the Kroger Shopping Center at 8338 Nashville Highway. Their phone number is 380-1796. Be sure to check out our large and fabulous selection of fine hair salon products. We have a beautiful staff of fast and friendly, knowledgeable hair stylists. Heads Up Family Haircutting Center at 8338 Nashville Highway. Their phone number is 380-1796. Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Old Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza featuring an all-you-can-eat buffet Sunday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The best wings around, the hottest sandwiches in town, and pizza that'll make you want to get down to Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza. Our number is 883-1844. Freddie Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. I'm not the kind of person who would just sue someone, but after I had a life-changing injury that affected me and my family, I knew I needed a strong attorney. I knew Jim Higgins had a reputation for handling tough, serious injury cases. He took my case, made sure I was heard, and we won. Attorney Jim Higgins focuses on serious injury, wrongful death, and nursing home neglect, and he'll put his reputation to work for you. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. 
here, Hammerjack, against the or Oriental Tasu, who stopped to look at the poster that's in the front of our table here. And regarding the one and only Eric Andrews, and that was an interesting stare. I've got to say, Michael St. John, there's been so much excitement. It has almost slipped my mind that Eric Andrews is not present today because he's still under that 21-day suspension rendered by the board of directors of Southern All-Star Wrestling for him striking Commissioner Freddie Morton. Paul Adams nice enough to set a collection plate out here. He's worried about the man. Said Eric Andrews could possibly be homeless. He's worried about him sleeping under a bridge in the dangerous environment of downtown Nashville and everybody wants to rib him about it. But Hammerjack right here is about to show this man why he should have stayed in Japan. Well, right now, Tatsu is being worked over by the big man. Indeed, indeed, it has just been a, a real working over. And Hammerjack, of course, a big guy. And uh, Tatsu, one of the smaller Oriental wrestlers. So with that in mind, Hammerjack with an uh, early advantage. And right now, he puts that knee to the side of the head. And uh, Tatsu is on the mat. This guy, we've seen him one time before, Michael St. John. What an impressive showing. But I'm going to tell you something right now. This guy did not fly overseas for nothing. Nobody walks in here unless they earn a spot. And this guy's got talent somewhere, baby. And Hammerjack may have just beaten it out of you. Well, Hammerjack, of course, has been very impressive in many of his starts here on uh, Southern All-Star Wrestling. And it's, again, a situation where you've got good talent taking on good talent. Talent out of the Orient, talent out of the Southern All-Star Wrestling, and it's all been hammerjack in this one. And uh, the man from Japan, if you would, Tasu, being worked over in the corner by Hammerjack. He could be knocked out cold right now, Michael St. John, as Hammerjack gets him over. The guy's up. How did he withstand? That was some brutal knee shots right to the side of the face. That could have cracked his jaw. I just assumed he was knocked out cold, but he still found what he needed to kick out on two. Well, that makes me wonder with he'll get his hammer jack with a chin buster. And there he is coming off the ropes, caught him with the elbow. Tasu is down. Hammerjack goes for the cover. This could be it right here. Count of one. There's one, there's two, there's oh. Got a two count and the referee started the count a little late. He was uh, a little bit concerned whether Hammerjack's uh, opponent may have been outside of the ropes. Hammerjack showing that his vicious streak coming through right now. And just as I say that, the Oriental Tatsu makes a little comeback and now Hammerjack is flat on his back. What a front face scissors that time by the Oriental Tasu. Tasu going, look like for a pile driver. Hammerjack reverses it. Slingshot maneuver into the turnbuckle. And Hammerjack awaiting Tasu, picks him up, goes for the neck breaker. And now a nice counter and reversal bridge. One, two, three, that's it. The Oriental Tatsu gets the victory with a Northern Right suplex. What an impressive victory, and dare I say, what an upset over Hammerjack. Hammerjack, of course, very upset at the referee, saying that was a fast count, as Tatsu leaves the arena with a win under his belt. The Oriental getting the win here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. All-Star Wrestling fans, I want to welcome you to the inaugural edition of Shop Talk with Hot Rod Biggs. And my guest today is the number one contender for the whoa, Southern All-Star Wrestling Television. Whoa, whoa, what? Number one contender? The number one contender for the Southern All-Star ah, Wrestling TV ah, chat. Ah, ah. Hot Rod, first of all, everybody knows you can't have a wrestling show without a Sean Schultz promo. And number one contender, my friend, is in Correct. You know, or you should know, that I am the true television champion of Southern All-Star Wrestling. TJ Harley, you are nothing but a fake. You know, I've never taken nothing away from you. I know you're the big heat seeker, Sean Schultz, but the fact remains, Sean, 
The television championship is owned right now by T.J. Harley. It's not owned by T.J. Harley. He's a bogus champion. I, two times, have had T.J. Harley down, and he tapped out. And the referee keeps giving him the belt. I'm tired of getting screwed here in Southern All-Star Wrestling, and tonight, I guarantee, without a shadow of a doubt, everybody in TV land and everybody in Southern All-Star Wrestling will see the true champion walk away with his belt. Holla. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The heat singer, Sean Schultz, making his mission statement completely clear. And I'm Hot Rod Biggs, and this has been Shop Talk, baby. Because everybody knows you can't have a wrestling show without a Sean Schultz. Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let ProGraphics be your source for all of your printing needs. ProGraphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new Colorspan 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call ProGraphics at 615-327-0386. LMW Auto Sales new location in Hendersonville, Tennessee at 118 Shackle Island Road. Their new number is 822-5010. For good, affordable, clean cars, call Wayne and Linda today at 822-5010. LMW Rental Properties. Looking for a rental home? One, two, three bedrooms? Call Wayne and Linda at 822-5010. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More, located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. Sunny days are here again. Sunshine Heating and Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling.
If you love the look of historic homes but prefer the energy efficiency and trouble-free living of new home construction, you'll be right at home in a Victory Built Home. Constructed with insulated panels, this helps keep the energy bills low. Also, will help withstand high winds and is virtually soundproof from the outside noises. Please view our online videos of our model home and green friendly building process at www.VictoryBuiltHomes.com. Southern All Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All Star Wrestling. Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Welcome back to Southern All-Star Wrestling. Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs. I've shunned my coat for an obviously a little warm. It's getting hot in here. And that's because the action is getting hot in here as we have an outstanding match coming up as the Spellbinder will take on the new Nature Boy. Yes, uh, Spellbinder, I know what you're talking about. The new Nature like the Boy right here. Kevin White but is I coming out. And there he is, the new Nature Boy taking on Spellbinder. You know what, I finally found someone that wanted to get some dough in their pockets. And he's gonna watch my back against Spellbinder and we're gonna take care of him today. <laughs> So you're introducing uh, a guardian, if you would, a second. And uh, Mr. Biggs, you seem to be very, uh, uh, very secure with this. Let's get this match underway. Spellbinder against Kevin White. Let's go to the ring. Spellbinder has made his way into the arena here at Southern All-Star Wrestling with the smoke and the fire and the sparks. And I'll tell you, the more I see this individual, he's an impressive man uh, despite his magic in the weird world of the, uh, oh, here's a little magic. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, a feather turning into a cane. Very impressive. Very impressive by Spellbinder. How'd he do that, Hot Rod? I have no idea, Michael St. John. You know, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This Spellbinder character, he just flat out freaks me out, Michael St. John. Well, we're going to see who else he can freak out because this is a man that I know has been uh, taken, smitten by his magic. And I'm talking about the new nature boy, Kevin White. And who is this gentleman that he's got at ringside? He introduced him as a man that's going to watch his back, but I don't recognize him. Kevin White has obviously employed the services of J5. This guy is a big boy. He's a big name in the bodyguard scene in the Nashville, Tennessee area, Michael St. John. But he even looks a little bit spooked by the Spellbinder. And I can't say that I blame him. This is a very scary individual, Michael. This is a very mysterious individual. And I think it's more so from the mystery of the Spellbinder than from his actions that have made some of these wrestlers freak out. And with that in mind, there goes Kevin White on his bicycle and out of the ring. Kevin White making quick way around the ring and quick way under the bottom rope to the floor. And even the security guard doesn't look so secure in his position right now. And again, I cannot blame him, Michael St. John. This guy flat out freaks me out. I wonder how much money Kevin White is paying this uh, individual to watch his back because I can assure you there are not a lot of people in the dressing room that would do that for Kevin White, number one, because it's Kevin White, number two, because the Spellbinder's involved. That's two very good reasons right there, Michael St. John. You see the impressive power of the Spellbinder. He wrung his arm around, 
the the absolute strength, the power of the Spellbinder. Turning for a flip, Kevin White come up, and he has no idea what to do with this big man, the Spellbinder. He's trying to slam him, and I just don't see it happening, White Michael. going for the scoop slam, now going to punch him, Spellbinder with a reversal, and just threw him away. Just threw him. I, that was not even a body slam. He just threw him. That shows you the power of the Spellbinder. The impressive strength. I can tell you, Michael St. John, at one time, I stepped in the ring against across the ring from the Spellbinder. I was weighed in at 305 pounds, Michael St. John. I'm telling you, a legit 305 pounds. This man press slammed me over my head. I ran back to the dressing room, and I never looked back. Well, right now, Kevin White is taking uh, any kind of offense that he can muster right smack dab at the Spellbinder. And against that big six foot seven or six foot eight frame, he is getting absolutely nowhere. Kevin White, like he's hitting a brick wall. And for lack of a better word, he practically is Michael St. John. You know, when I, when I see an individual like Spellbinder, not that I'm going to give any tips to Kevin White, the new nature boy, quote unquote, as to how to attack a, a man of this stature, but I would think uh, you, Hot Rod Biggs, as a former champion, wouldn't you be going after the extremities, maybe an arm or a leg at this point, not going head on with the guy? Now he's going to get the bodyguard in the ring, the bodyguard, oh, there's the web, the web catches White and the bodyguard, and he is caught, and they go to the floor, or the bodyguard goes to the floor. Kevin White has got that web all entangled in the corner, and the spellbinder has got White cornered, but now the referee steps in, trying to get that web removed from the ring. And, that should uh, with, be a disqualification, a minute, a Michael St. John. That should have been a disqualification. Why is that not considered a foreign object when he Wait throws a minute. Something? Speaking of foreign objects, Kevin White just hit the Spellbinder with something, and the Spellbinder went down with a thud for a count of two, but that's all he got. He got him in the throat with something. Now they're switching off again in the corner. White nailed him again. Is he got a chain hot rod? Is they're pitching something back and forth? Looks like a chain to me. Are you watching the same match that I'm watching, Michael St. John? Kevin White, to his credit, got in a couple of lucky shots on the Spellbinder, and you're accusing him something. Look, the man's adjusting his tights right there. White, the for the third time, the same way. The referee, attention being caught by the crowd. Going for the cover. Count of two for the third time. Spellbinder on the two count alleviates Kevin White from the count. I hear the people emphatically saying he's got a chain. He I has a chain. It. Well, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, I got to I gotta give you credit, Michael. I just seen it right there. He does have a chain draped across the throat of the Spellbinder, but the key is the official Kurt Heron is none the wiser to it because the Nature Boy is not only a physical wrestler, he is psychologically intelligent. He knows what to do, when to do it, what not to do, when not to do it, and he's finally gotten a leg up on this voodoo magic of the Spellbinder. And the Spellbinder right now being worked over by the new Nature Boy, Kevin White. White, with help from a security guard and a chain, has not taken the measure of the Spellbinder yet, but he's got him reeling. Got him in the corner. White with the shoulder to the midsection. Spellbinder caught in that corner, taking a lot out of this man right now. You've got to think, Michael St. John, the new Nature Boy, Kevin White, he's got a whole lot more riding on this than just the one, two, three. He's trying to fight for his peace of mind. Can you imagine the frantic state of mind he's been in the past few weeks, knowing that the Spellbinder is looking for him, and now finally he's been able to do something about it. And if he gets this victory on today's broadcast, he can finally put away the demons of the Spellbinder. And right there, you saw a good shot from our TV crew here at Southern All-Star Wrestling of Kevin White wrapping that fist with the chain and nailing the Spellbinder, but he can't get the three count. He gets two, but can't get the third. And Kevin White now with the go-behind. He's got the chin lock. He's got it surf the chin lock surfboarded into the back with that knee up against the shoulder blade of the Spellbinder. And Spellbinder right now just seems to be doing some almost exercises, if you would, with his arm, perhaps to keep the circulation going. Absolutely. You know, Michael St. John, keeping the arms up like that, 
lightens up the pressure on the carotid artery, allows just a little bit more oxygen to get to the lungs, and you've got to have that when you're in a predicament like the Spellbinders in at the hands of Kevin White right now. Kevin White working over the Spellbinder, and this match has gone a little bit uh, longer and certainly in a different direction than what I was expected. I thought Spellbinder would make short work of this man, but Kevin White with a plan, with his bodyguard and with a foreign object has taken the measure. Now look at him. Kevin Show White boating. showing he's a man to be taken seriously as the Spellbinder moves out of the way, Michael. And he better do something because the Spellbinder is finally making his way back to his feet. And a Spellbinder taking it right to Kevin White. A couple of uh, clothesline blows with the forearm and there's a huge back body drop off the six foot seven frame of the Spellbinder. Kevin White trying to make his way across the ring. And again, he may have been slipped that chain. Referee warning the Spellbinder. Spellbinder catches Kevin White with the, in the throat. There's He's the uh, bodyguard. Both, He's got them both indeed. And a double choke slam, yes sir. What an impressive maneuver from the Spellbinder. And that's it, Michael. And the power, strength, and magic of the Spellbinder prevail with his win over the new nature boy, Kevin White and company. We'll be back with more here on Southern All-Star Wrestling right after these messages. Bell Meat Exterminating has been and will continue to be the industry leader in providing the highest quality services to our customers. Our commitment to research assures our customers of the latest technology the industry has to offer. Our team of highly skilled exterminators provide the highest level of advanced pest management training available in the industry. Whether it's pest control or termite maintenance, let the pros of Bell Meat Exterminating be the answer. Remember, the name stands for quality, not high prices. Southern All-Star Wrestling every Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. If you like the action you see on TV, you'll love it better in person. Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night, 8 o'clock bell time. Check out the All-Star Hotline at 615-664-2388. All-Star Championship Wrestling, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Saturday night. Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there. Put a headlock on high prices. Come to Rush's Auto Sales, where 50 a week will get you off your feet. Feel the rush at Rush's Auto Sales, located at 101 High Street, Columbia, Tennessee. Phone number 931-381-8585. That's 931-381-8585. Jim's Auto Supply, since 1962, your one-stop shop for automotive parts from A to Z. Also offering machine shop service, drum rotation, pressing bearings, AC lines, and power steering hoses, and much, much more. Come see Kenny and the gang at 400 North High Street in Columbia, Tennessee. Our number is 931-388-7515. Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Old Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza featuring an all-you-can-eat buffet Sunday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The best wings around, the hottest sandwiches in town, and pizza that'll make you want to get down to Fletcher's Pizza at 2715 Lebanon Road across from the Donaldson Plaza. Our number is 883-1844. Sunny days are here again. Sunshine Heating and Cooling servicing Nashville and all of Middle Tennessee. Call owners Joe Anisi and Jerry Williams for all of your heating and cooling needs. They will perform fast professional service. Whether you need annual service, repair, or have a new unit installed, call the pros at Sunshine Heating and Cooling. Freddie Mac, 
Friday Morton Auctions has a general type merchandise auction each and every Friday night at 6.01 p.m. including antiques, collectibles, and furniture. We're located at 700 Woodland Street in the heart of downtown Columbia. We do personal property and estate sales on our site or yours. When time means money, call Freddie Morton Auctions, 931-840-5809. Sold. When you need a tow, you'll be good to go with Bailey's Wrecker Service. Bailey's Wrecker Service, family owned and operated since 1969. Bailey's can help with everything from flat tires, dead batteries, you name it. Give us a call at 227-1283. Your 24-7 towing connection. Bailey's Wrecker Service. Bailey's Wrecker Service. I'm not the kind of person who would just sue someone, but after I had a life-changing injury that affected me and my family, I knew I needed a strong attorney. I knew Jim Higgins had a reputation for handling tough, serious injury cases. He took my case, made sure I was heard, and we won. Attorney Jim Higgins focuses on serious injury, wrongful death, and nursing home neglect, and he'll put his reputation to work for you. This is for the TV title, and this is something Sean Schultz has been wanting for a while, and he has been stalking the champion TJ Harley, and he is about to get his opportunity, the TV championship belt of Southern All-Star Wrestling being shown to our crowd at ringside, and Sean Schultz says that's going to be mine, but he's got to prove himself in the ring against a man who has been very successful since owning the belt and that is T.J. Arley, and they're going face-to-face -face with each other. My goodness, I'll tell you, there is no love lost between these two hot rod bigs. There is a lot of controversy surrounding this matchup, and these guys decided to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe and swab it close fist right off the bat. Neither man giving an inch. T.J. Harley firing up on Sean Schultz, got him reeling in a rocket shot. Oh, referee, referee taken out Bell. of the action. Ricky Rip. Bell just caught the bottom rope right to the throat, Michael St. John. And there is Sean Schultz knocking T.J. Harley out onto the referee. And, and it has gotten right away in the early going out of hand because Sean Schultz has now incapacitated the official for Southern All-Star Wrestling. And he goes to work on T.J. Harley, and he has out him outside the ring, and he is doing some damage. Ricky Bell not only took a throat shot across the bottom rope, but T.J. Harley momentum carried him kicked him right in the ribs i'm not sure if the people at home seen it but i seen it with my own two eyes michael oh my eyes. goodness look at schultz with that oh my lord with the throat he has just rammed tj harley's head into the turn or into the uh, ring post with that chair wrapped around it and i'm afraid tj harley was hurt with that one what no. a shot by sean schultz there was nowhere for the seat of that chair to go except directly into the larynx of T.J. Harley. Here's referee another referee Kurt coming Heron in. Kurt Heron coming in. Count of two. Schultz repins him. No, two count again. Kurt Heron sent from the back. He is the senior official of Southern All-Star Wrestling. And Sean Schultz right now is a frustrated young man. And Kurt Heron, senior official, goes to check on Ricky Bell, the referee that's out. We have another referee coming in from the back. We need to get some help for Ricky Bell as he was hurt in that encounter. Ricky Bell is down, inadvertently taking one devastating shot. Like I said, not only to the throat, but also to the ribs as he's getting assistance from another member of the officiating team. Of and TJ Harley wrestling. comes firing back. Look at that flying tackle on John Schultz. Showing us exactly why he is the television champion. T.J. Harley backs down from no one, but what a back-to-back -back suplex right there, Michael St. John. Bad belly to back almost ended up with T.J. Harley's head into the turnbuckle, and after taking that shot in the throat with that chair wrapped around his throat into that ring post, I don't know how T.J. Harley can take much more punishment. He looks like he's out of it at the moment. You know, this guy could just be a smart wrestler and be taking a breather, or he could be out cold. What do you think, Michael? Sean Schultz just hammering away after insult upon insult thrown upon T.J. Harley. Schultz saying it's his turn, it's his shine, it's his shot. And Harley, though, firing back with fists from the knees, but Sean Schultz slows him down. 
Sean Schultz says he's going to take the man out. I don't know what else he could do. You know, we got to look at the fact of medical science right here, Michael St. John. When you take a bump with the impact of that and the brain shifts forward, that is called a concussion. And when you have a concussion, of which I've had several, and you see stars, and you start to black out, and when you got a man like Sean Schultz repeatedly pounding and pounding and pounding on you, this situation does not look good right now for T.J. Harley. Schultz screaming, you got my belt, and he puts the wood to T.J. Harley, and T.J. Harley, the current TV champion, without a doubt, in trouble here. Now, what a shot. What T.J. Harley taking the beating like I've never seen him take before, and that's saying a lot, Michael St. John. Sean Schultz is really taking it to him. Look at this. still able to come back. Schultz with the go-behind, reversed by Harley, and Schultz holding onto the rope, slinging Harley off, now caught him with that elbow coming back, and oh my goodness, Harley is down again. Sean we could Schultz see this belt change right here, and we almost did, count of two. Sean Schultz is the man on a mission right here. He's given everything he's got to give. Tried to render himself the new Southern All-Star Wrestling Television Champion. And T.J. Harley is fighting with everything he's got. And I'm telling you, Michael St. John, I am concerned. I think the man may have a concussion. I couldn't agree with you more, uh, t uh, Hot Rod. T.J. Harley has taken a lot of punishment. And I think that concussion may have come when he had that chair wrapped around his neck and he got slammed into the ring post by Sean Schultz in the very early going in this match where the first referee assigned to this match was decapacitated, if you would, incapacitated. Huh? He was almost decapitated is what I'm trying to say. Absolutely. You know, these two guys are in ex excellent physical shape, Michael St. John. But you can lift all the weights in the world, and that isn't going to stop your brain from shifting when you take a blow like T.J. Harley took with that chair wrapped around his head. Well, T.J. Harley has a second win now, and he's got Sean Schultz in a world of trouble up on that second strand of rope. And Schultz, the wily veteran that he is becoming, just dropped T.J. Harley on his head on the top turnbuckle. Once again, back to the head, you know, Sean Schultz appears to be playing for keeps right here, Michael. And at some point, you've got a question, when is referee Kurt Heron going to take a look and look into his eyes and see if this man, is he just fighting on pure adrenaline and pure instinct right now, or is he still conscious? What's going on? You know, Muhammad Ali has to eat popcorn looking like a mannequin right now because of shots to the head some less severe than what I've seen T.J. Harley take in this matchup. Well, T.J. Harley keeps coming back, and again, I don't know if it's just on pure adrenaline or the fact that he has got the measure of Sean Schultz but just cannot close it out, but it has been a Sean Schultz kind of match. He has dictated the pace and the tempo of this match on T.J. Harley, something the champion did not need to see, but Sean Schultz, I think, has been planning this onslaught for several weeks, Hot Rod. Sean Schultz has been stalking T.J. Harley, even to the point he come out a few weeks ago and he punched he, he punched Ray Havoc, getting T.J. the win. He's been playing all that kind of psychological games. He's been stalking the man. He's been following him, and now he is trying to take him out of the professional wrestling business, in my opinion. Michael he Sanders. is punishing T.J. Harley. I think he could have ended this match a couple of minutes ago, and I'm just sitting here astounded that T.J. Harley is absorbing so much punishment because, indeed, I think Sean Schultz is trying to cripple the man. Rolls him up. There's the cover. One, two, three. We got to win. And that's why he's the champion. He can pull him out at the last minute. That has got to be one of the most tremendous beatings I've seen in quite some time. And there again, I say, yet another potential upset. Even though he's the champion, the beating he took the hand of Sean Schultz, for him to walk out and still be the champion, it's phenomenal. Michael. It is an amazing feat for T.J. Harley, and now uh, Sean Schultz is very upset. He just waylaid him from the back with a sucker punch. Schultz has got the belt in his hands, throws it down in the ring, and he's going right back out to, and he's going to just try to, he's going to try to maim this guy. He wants to put T.J. Harley out of the biz right here. You know, Sean Schultz looks like he's about 10 miles on the other side of sanity right now. I don't think winning matches or belts even at this point is on his mind. Jeez, Sean Schultz. Shot.
boy, oh boy, he can it full blast with that belt and that belt with the metal and the gold being slammed down to the concrete floor with TJ Harley's head in between it. There's blood on the belt and Sean Schultz is a proud person right now. He's got the belt in his clutches, but he is not the TV champion. I've been talking this entire matchup since the very beginning, Michael St. John, that TJ Harley looked to me like he suffered a concussion. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm no doctor, but if he doesn't have a concussion beforehand, he's definitely got one now. This man, this man's on the end of his rocker. Sean Schultz has got the belt. TJ Harley is being attended to. When it comes to buying or selling a home, you need a professional who cares about the outcome to assist you. Pam Moore of CTX Mortgage promises that is exactly what you will receive. Pam is a member of the Middle Tennessee Home Builders Association and the Williamson County Chamber of Commerce. If you believe your clients deserve the very best, then call Pam Moore. Hi, I'm Pam Moore with CTX Mortgage in Franklin, Tennessee. Let my 10 years of experience go to work for you. We deliver more because you deserve more. Heads Up Family Haircutting Center, conveniently located in the Kroger Shopping Center at 833-8 Nashville Highway. Their phone number is 380-1796. Be sure to check out our large and fabulous selection of fine hair salon products. We have a beautiful staff of fast and friendly, knowledgeable hairstylists. Heads Up Family Haircutting Center at 833-8 Nashville Highway. Their phone number is 380 380- 1796. Main event here on Southern All Star Wrestling. And Paul Adams saying we want a title match next week because he is the manager of the number one contenders who are in this match against the champions, the tag team champions, Andy Douglas and Chase Stevens, the Naturals, against Chris Michaels and Norway Havoc. And let me bring to a point that this match was signed for television before the championship uh, clause about the uh, number one contender went into effect. So that date, I understand, goes into effect actually tomorrow with the release of those new rankings. And with that in mind, we have a non-title match here today. I don't exactly see how you can sit here, Michael St. John, and condone that as being fair. You've got athletes the caliber of Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels. Why, especially with the business dealings with the mastermind of Paul Adams, how in the world was this deemed a non-title matchup? Well, this is just one of the rules and regs. You've got two organizations, remember, that are now in Southern All-Star Wrestling in contention for this belt. The other one, of course, being NWA Top Rope. And with that in mind, there are some preclusions and inclusions and things we have not dealt with before that we're having to deal with now because we're dealing with two boards of directors, we're dealing with two commissioners, and we're dealing with a, really one organization, but two teams, if you would, trying to work everything out together. Well, Michael St. John, that might look good on paper, but when it comes down to what a fact is a fact. I think these guys are scared to put the titles up this week. I think that they are worried that they may lose the title that they to put them up. And I think maybe, just maybe, they're not fully recovered from the beating that they took at the hands of homicidal tendencies. Chris Michaels right now goes for a move and uh, it was interrupted, if you would, by Chase Stevens. Nice arm drag takedown by Stevens and down goes Chris Michaels, new hairdo for Chris Michaels. We've been seeing the past couple of weeks here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. I guess the uh, heat got to him. Chris Michaels in a vicarious position at the hands of Chase Stevens. He's got the arm locked up tight. Chase Stevens makes the tag to his partner, Andy Douglas. Now the referee needs to get one of them out of there. This is tag. What an impressive maneuver, Michael St. John. As Andy Douglas just feeds Chris Michaels right. Tag to Norray Havoc. And the tag is made. Norray is in the ring. He has had some bad luck lately in that squared circle and uh, much of it to the hands of uh, Sean, uh, the, the, the egratiated Sean uh, uh, Schultz. And uh, 
Every time I see Norway Havoc, and uh, I know that this man's got a short fuse, I'm just surprised that he hasn't gone to Sean Schultz and beaten the living daylights out of him. Absolutely, Michael St. John. The Norway that I know, he must be trying to stay out of trouble or something. Maybe he's worried about a parole officer, I don't know, because the Norway Havoc I know would have already hunted this man down and caught him at a red light for all the trouble that he's caused him. But talking about somebody being caused trouble, look at Andy Douglas as he's got his throat draped across the middle rope, and now he's going to get just a little more assistance. Double teaming now, triple teaming, because Paul Adams, the towel boy, has gotten his towel involved in this match already now. As the referee turns around, or as uh, Chris Michaels turns around, he's acting like he's fanning him off. He was trying to choke the daylights out of him. That is your opinion, Michael St. John. What I've seen is the man trying to offer a little bit of assistance. We're going to take a quick break from this action. We'll be right back. If you miss anything important, we'll show it to you. Back after this on Southern All-Star Wrestling. LMW Auto Sales new location in Hendersonville, Tennessee at 118 Shackle Island Road. Their new number is 822-5010. For good, affordable, clean cars, call Wayne and Linda today at 822-5010. LMW Rental Properties. Looking for a rental home? One, two, three bedrooms? Call Wayne and Linda at 822-5010. If your car's not getting you around like it should be getting you around, then come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. Located at 1400 Dickerson Road at 226-3930. For all your automotive repair needs, come see Robert and the gang at Mufflers Brakes and More. That's 226-3930. That's 226-3930. Pro Graphics, located at 1811 Church Street in downtown Nashville. Let Pro Graphics be your source for all of your printing needs. Pro Graphics now has the opportunity to meet even more of your printing needs with our new Color Span 72 UVX. We can print your signs and banners on a variety of materials for both indoor and outdoor use, and we also offer custom installation. Call Pro Graphics at 615-327-0386. We're back with you, Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs, and this match has gotten even more exciting. They have turned it up a notch, as uh, Emerald the uh, Cook would say. They are really going to town, and Norway Havoc just clotheslined Andy Douglas. The tide is turned in the favor of the number one contenders for the Southern Tag Team titles. Paul Adams is very proud of these men right there, giving the signal to the camera that they're leaving with the belts. I think he maybe he just forgot that this is a non-title matchup, and maybe he's just doing a little bit of wishful thinking for the future. Well, it is a tune-up match, but give this point, in fact, if Norway Havoc and Chris Michaels should get a win, think of what it would do mentally and psychologically to the champions. This would be an important thing to watch as this match continues. And right now, it is all Chris Michaels and Norway Havoc. And with that in mind, well, Michael St. John, you know, here. we've been graced by the presence of Victor Bruiser and Hot Chocolate Corey Williams is they're obviously looking over to the Naturals right now. Corey, let me be the first one to graciously offer you my seat and you tell me and you tell all these people at home what you think about the Naturals. What I think about the Naturals, I don't. I don't think about the Naturals at all. First of all, this is supposed to be us in the ring beating up the Naturals. It's a conspiracy. Said, who cares? It's a conspiracy. Like my brother sitting over here said, it is a conspiracy. Everybody knows that we're the greatest tag team here. You know what? Just a flash in the pan or a blast from the past. <laughs> we're you the greatest tag team in professional wrestling today. They'll just call you a great tag team. What do they call you, Vic? They call you homicidal tendencies, baby. That's right. Woo, if right you here, can. you looking at him right there. <laughs> hey, look at poor Ch Look at Chase up there. Look at him. Look, well, not not just Chase. Look at Chris and Nori up there. They shouldn't is, be up there. What is up with these four guys? 
Do they honestly think they, they can hold a candle to us? Do they you think they can hold a candle to us? It would be a great match. Our microphones have been hijacked by homicidal tendencies, That's gentlemen. Enough. Yeah. That's enough. Nobody want to hear you. Get out of here. Yeah, just get away from here. Look at this. Corey. Look, the, the, Nora and Chris been together for five minutes, and they ain't here wrestling the tag team. Look at them. What a, it's a conspiracy. They're breaking a sweat. They're breathing hard. Homicidal tendencies. We don't sweat. We don't breathe hard. Uh, he got lucky. That was a lucky uh, move. You want to say you know, something? Hey, Vic, I tell you. No, I that's tell okay. You, what is it's it? It's a conspiracy. They're trying to keep the brother down, just like they're trying to do Michael Vick. Hey, they ram Michael, Michael Vick. That's right. Michael Vick, Michael, don't worry. We right. got Michael Jackson off of it. That's we right. got O.J. Simpson off of it. We don't worry, brother. We Vick. got you off, too. Oh, Tag is made. Close Here comes the. Close fit. See all this cheating. Look all at this. this. You can still hear Corey Woods right. in the you background. You see all this cheating going on. The naturals are flying high. Hey, we, we, Wait we a minute. We got some business, Rob. We'll be back. Homicidal tendencies have left our announcements in the ring. Oh, hell is broken loose in the ring, Michael St. John. They are going to the ring right now. Vic the Bruiser and Corey Williams are up on the ring, and now this has turned into a three-way. Vic the Bruiser going after. Here's Shea Stevens getting nailed by that chair. Vic the Bruiser, look at Paul Adams. Look at the look on his face. Paul Adams is in shock. He's not exactly sure what happened to his team. And that's it, Michael St. John. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm exactly talking about. what we're talking about. Look at that. Everybody loves the naturals. Everybody. Everybody loves the naturals. Yeah. Look on. at him. Look at him. Chase Stevens laying out in the middle of the ring. We've Look done it time and time again. Look at those champions laying there. Crying, looking up at the line. Let me point out the fact that the number one contenders just won this match. Number one contenders? Who are they? The number one contenders they just won this match. I don't know. Five minutes ago, who cares? They about are the them? number one contenders. They have just won this match. You know, I'm not sure. You know, well, what is going on here, guys? Hey, listen, we got cut. Paul Adams. We got Nori Heavy. We, we got Chris Michael. Don't worry we got about a shortcut. Cut. We got what what makes you here? think that you deserve to be in there with the Naturals, huh? What makes you think? What? What? Because we you just Chris beat them. That's why. Yeah, you be, you beat them because of us. You were getting your butts handed to you by them two lily white cupcakes in there. And if it wasn't for us, you've been losing. We don't need your help. We've been doing this long enough. Hey, hey let me tell you something. Hey, 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 hey. hey, wait. And it's all broken out here on the floor. Here is Paul Adams trying to get involved. Freddie Martin, Hot Rod Biggs. This has become a wild melee between three teams. Here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. Not on today's broadcast. Homicidal tendencies. Commissioner Mike Schertz is out of here. And it's gone crazy. Michael St. John Whiplash Control. It is broken out. All hell is broken loose here. Hot Rod, you better get out of there. You're liable to get hurt. Paul, Michael what's Saint? happening here? Well, I don't know what Corey Williams and Vic think they're the homicidal tendencies on the ones where they think they should get a title shot. We just beat the champs. That entitles us to a title match right here next week. The referees are out here. The officials, Reno Riggins, Freddie Morton out here. Mike Searcy from NWA Top Rope. They're trying to order. They're trying to order some kind of order here. Freddie Morton. If they don't break it up, I'm going to suspend every one of them and find every one of them. There's a word. It's a, you heard it. It's hot. Hold back here, ladies and gentlemen. Homicidal right. tendencies. The Naturals, Norway Havoc, Chris Michaels, Mike Searcy, Reno Riggins, Freddie Morton. You know, Michael. The first got to fly in this. You've got a three-way cooking here, and it's all over the tag team championship. They're being ordered back by the officials.